The Axial SCX24 Gladiator versus the FMS Toyota Hilux. Both officially licensed mini RC crawlers, but which one is best? Real world comparison coming up. Welcome back to the channel. Here we're gonna dive straight into the comparison between these two RC cars. If you wanna know their specifications and all those details, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. We can check both of these cars out. Also a link to where we'll review both of these individually. So this video, it's not gonna be scientific. We're not gonna be measuring star checking angles. We're just gonna do a real world test. I will point out two big differences. One is that they're different scales. The Gladiator is a 124th scale mini crawler. Meanwhile, the Toyota Hilux is a 118th scale mini RC crawler. And secondly, the Toyota Hilux has a hard shell body, so it's just a bit more detailed. Meanwhile, the Gladiator is a soft shell, more like your typical RC cars that you're probably used to. We're gonna jump straight into challenge number one, which is gonna test its climbing capability over this sort of technical terrain with loose gravel, and we're gonna kick it off with the Gladiator. Now I'm gonna do my best to do the same lines with both of these cars, so we can get a fair comparison, as fair as we can. Ooh, look at that. And both of these trucks do have LED lights. See this one here, it's just those sort of fog lights at the front. Oh no! First hand of God. Oh, you can do it. Approaching the last sort of ledge for challenge one, and this is probably the most difficult one. So that's how far our Gladiator got, just couldn't quite get up that ledge there. I wonder if our Toyota Hilux will have any better luck. And it is in climb mode, so this does have a couple of modes which is pretty cool. We are taking the same line to make this as fair as possible. Nice, look at that, it looks so good doesn't it? So cool. Nice. This truck too has working headlights and also has indicator lights in the front and rear as well. Now this does have a heavier body and you can see those uh, steps for the door. It may get stuck on uh, low obstacles but we'll see if it can get over this one which the Gladiator couldn't. Moving climb. Okay, see the wheels just digging up sharp in there. Look at that, it's full solid. The Gladiator did manage to get a little bit higher, it got up to around here. Well it's time to move on to challenge number two. Man, check out the view up here. For challenge number two, we're gonna see how they both perform going over these stones and rocks. Then we're gonna do a bit of a climb on grass and see which one can do it the best. Now we're gonna start to get a little bit incline here. It's still going. Look at that, over the grass. Not having any issues whatsoever. Surely the Gladiator's gonna be able to do this with these. Though the Toyota did get over these rocks okay, I do feel that the Gladiator is doing it a lot easier. Now time to get up to the grass part. Remember the Toyota did this with these. Oh, and so has that Gladiator. Oh no. Yes, yes. Oh no. Hand of God number two. There we go, completed challenge number two with ease. Pretty much just as easy as the Toyota did it. We're now onto our final challenge, challenge number three, and for that, well, you probably already know, it is gonna be Mount Everest. We're gonna start this challenge off with the Gladiator. And I got a feeling this Jeep is absolutely gonna dominate Mount Everest. So I'm gonna be a wee bit tactical here, and I know the line I'm gonna take, it's like a little crevasse. crevasse. Oh, what? Hand of God number three. So getting into that crevasse might be a little bit more technical than I thought. This part gets quite steep here. Oh, I don't want to roll over, look at that. Ooh, oh, that was cool. We might be okay here. Beauty, look at that. Oh, we're okay. That is so cool. Look at it go. I think on this one, it's as high as we're going to get with our Gladiator. Now it's the Toyota's turn, and we're going to take the same line, we're going to do our best to take the same line, and it is in climbing mode. All about half throttle there, let's go full throttle, let's full throttle, in climb mode. Oh, it's maintaining it too. 
And we're gonna make our turn here and then get into that crevasse, crevice, whatever you call it. Oh, this might be the trickiest part. Oh. Oh, damn. I'm surprised they actually made it up that part. And that part too. Oh, sweet. Now this part starts to get quite steep. This is the exact spot the gladiator couldn't get up at. Oh, but it did it. The Toyota got further than the S624. Oh, now that little step is uh, letting it down there. If I took that off, I reckon it might be good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yes. The Toyota conquered Mount Everest. And there is our SCX24, and that surprises me. It sure does, because I honestly thought the SCX24 was going to completely destroy the FMS, but we'll get to my thoughts in a second. Before we do, first, don't forget to give this video a big like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything RC. And a huge thank you to all our Kiwi Club members that continue to support us, even though we post about one video every eight or 10 days right now. I know it's a bit slow, but don't worry, it's six days. Six days left until I have freedom and I'll be returning back to New Zealand. I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. We're going to go on holiday for a while. So probably the videos will reduce from like one every 10 days and maybe like one every 15 days. But then come the end of June, we'll be back to uploading about two or three times a week. So don't worry. But between now and June, expect around one a week. But here's my two cents for what it's worth. With the SCX24, I did feel like it handled the rocks and stones a little bit better. It felt like it had a bit of power to weight ratio. Just felt like it had a bit more punch, a bit more speed and acceleration. But I did find that it tipped over a lot easier. Uh, and that's probably because it's got a higher center of gravity when compared to the FMS Toyota. So with this one here, I was surprised. It actually outperformed the SCX24 when it came to climbing. And that would be because it's got a heavier body, lower center of gravity, and a longer wheelbase. But I do feel like it's a little bit underpowered for what it is. And if you want to get the best performance out of this truck, I would remove the little step there on the side. So you've got much more ground clearance, and that definitely would help with its performance. And finally, it has a better scale look to it, a bit more detail to it. This uh, side mirror does pop out quite often, but um, it does have that interior. But what the SCX24 does have is it has a driver, man. And that's important, you need a driver. There he is. As always guys, we're gonna have both of these trucks linked in the description down below if you're interested. I'm Joe, I'm an RC Kiwi, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.